Well, welcome to Weekly Wisdom. Uh, we continue to walk through this dynamic, powerful book of Proverbs, kind of one verse at a time, one nugget of truth at a time, and ask the Holy Spirit to speak to our hearts. And so today I want to ask you one simple question. Does anyone love you that much? Do you have anyone in your life who loves you that much? And you might be thinking, how much? What are you talking about? Well, listen to Proverbs 19, verse 20, and I think you'll get a sense of what I'm asking. Does anyone love you that much? Here's the passage. Listen to advice and accept discipline, and at the end, you'll be counted among the wise. Listen closely to the advice that people give you. Accept, in a sense, almost invite discipline. And if you do those things over time, you'll join an exclusive club of actually wise people. You'll grow in wisdom. In the Old Testament, and particularly in, in, the, in the wisdom literature, Psalms, Proverbs, there's a term that's used that scholars would use called parallelism. And a parallelism is where you have two words or two thoughts next to each other that are juxtaposed in a way that, that one says something and then the next part says the opposite. And that would be, that would be called antithetical parallelism, where there's, they're the antithesis of each other. They, there's, there's this, but then the, you know, this person's wise, but this person's a fool. And it shows you kind of the opposite. And then there's synonymous parallelism. What that is, and it's probably obvious by the language, is that the two thoughts are synonyms, or they're similar. They're, they're basically expressing the same thing. But there's also a type called, another type that's called synthetical parallelism. And it's a little bit of a tongue twister, but synthetical parallelism. And what that is, is where there's one thought and the next thought builds on it. It kind of, it kind of takes it to the next level. And I believe that's what's happening here in verse 20. There's listen to advice, that's one thing. But the next thing isn't, a synonym, it's, it's, it's a building thought. Listen to advice, that leads to wisdom, and accept discipline. Advice tends to be verbal, discipline tends to be physical. <laughs> and so what, what this is saying is, become the kind of person, first of all, be a person who listens to advice. Do you have anyone who loves you that much? What do you mean? Anybody who would actually give you advice. It's hard to give people advice because they know everything. It's hard to give people advice because not everyone receives it well. But do you have anyone who loves you enough and that you trust enough that they will regularly give you advice because they know you're going to hear it. And then it goes on to say, accept, welcome discipline. As an adult, as, as kids, there's discipline that we need as kids, but as adults, do you have other adults who love you enough to say, you know what, you're off track. You know what, I love you, but that was kind of out of line. You know what, if you do that again, we're going to have problems. I had a buddy of mine uh, who, I, 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 one of my few recreations I have in life is I love golfing. And I have only had three rounds of golf I didn't enjoy. And all of them were because somebody else behaved badly. Someone else got so mad. At one point, somebody threw a club. It spun around the wrong way, not where they were aiming. It kind of spun, almost hit me in the head. It kind of ruined my round of golf. But I also said to that friend of mine, I need to let you know, after this round, we won't be golfing for the next month. And if you ever do that again, I'll never golf with you again. He accepted that. And I think he's become a better person for it. But, but... As adults, we can, we can help discipline each other. And, and so, so just think about this. Listen to advice and accept discipline. In the end, you'll be counted among the wise. In the book of Proverbs, the highest value is wisdom. Proverbs is a book of wisdom. So how do you grow in wisdom? You let people bring you advice. Do you receive that warmly? Do you thank people for their perspective? If God actually uses someone to bring discipline to you, do you have anybody who loves you enough who would dare to challenge you in a way that would discipline you? I'm thankful I have a handful of friends who love me that much, who I trust enough to listen to what they have to say. And my prayer for me and for you is that when we do those things, we grow in wisdom because good advice and good discipline shape our souls and shape our lives. Will you pray with me? Living God, May we each have one or two or three close enough friends or family members who would speak great advice, who would bring firm or tender discipline as needed, and may we hear them that we might become the people who walk in wisdom that can honor you in all that we do. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Blessings on you. Have a great rest of your day.